Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome back to Subnautica. Now for the first time in a while I'm going to be starting off the episode directly by commemorating the people who commented in the last video. And the first one up is Diego Mapil, who said, When will he meet the Ghost Leviathan the Lost River? Which, I don't know if the Ghost Leviathan is there yet, but I'm officially in the experimental build oh, once oh, again. God. And even though Big Box Bear is a little damaged, ignore that, everything's fine, I'm not worried about it. Next up is Alex H who said is it me or does anyone else count how many seconds before Mark freaks out after saying okay everything seems to be fine and hey that's not my fault that the world decides to fuck me over as soon as I say those words as if that's alien code to come attack me not my fault then there's Carson Bland who said silent mode doesn't work if you keep screaming stop attacking me and uh, that made me realize that I Probably from the outside, all the fish are hearing this muffled Oh god! Oh god, please! No! Like coming from this weird giant yellow boat that's just trying to sneak along at a snail's pace. So entirely that's all my fault and I'm sorry about that. But now that we're back in the experimental build, there's something very, very special waiting for us down in the depths back in the Lost River. Or not even in the Lost River, the active lava zone, which I am eventually going back down to. But before I do that, before I do that, I have to number one, go to the island at full speed, and then I have to get Marble melons, which I should have had this whole time. I don't know why I've been choking down 1,700 of these goddamn lantern fruit when I could have just been eating marble melons this whole time, and I would have been totally fine, and then I would have more than one planter, and I wouldn't have just been eating until my stomach explodes and my guts just froth out of my belly all over my inside of my big box berry. If that sentence made sense in any other world, in any other context, I'd be amazed. But that is the truth of my situation. So I'm gonna go real quick to the island. I'm gonna grab that stuff. And I'll be right back. I'm gonna. I'm about to beach myself, aren't I? Oh, Nelly. And then I'm gonna cycle back because there's only one other upgrade that I want to make for my big box berry, and that is the sonar upgrade. And to do that, I need polyaniline. And to make polyaniline, I need hydrochloric acid. And to do that, I need to go get some deep mushrooms because you can only make hydrochloric acid out of certain acid mushrooms. Not these guys. You gotta get the deep shrooms. You have to have them for that. I didn't even know about hydrochloric acid. I didn't even know what polyaniline was. I don't even think I've ever made that, but now I will. So I'm gonna be right back as soon as I find me a marble melon. Oh, that is... That, that's... That's... That's weird. Why are you guys just floating on the surface like that? I'm a little... I'm, just, I'm more than a little bit perturbed by that. Usually they're moving or they're like breaching or... Or something or other, but they're just... Oh my god, it's a bigger pot than I thought it was gonna be. Okay, alright, you carry on! I gotta get to the... The island! Oh, that is majestic. I know I gotta eat, that's why I'm going to get a marble, Ellen. Are you bothered? Mjurnk! <laughs> I'm seducing them with my massive mjurnks! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Why do we have those sharks around here? That's- they're- they're not supposed- they're about to get rammed! That's what they're about to get, and what the hell is that in the- I don't know what's going on. But these assholes are gonna get rammed. Hey! Oh! Oh no! I'm so sorry! Oh! oh fuck you, dude. Oh man, that hurt more me more than it hurt them. Ah, shit, but they can't catch me. Shabooski! Not when I slam- Not when I bu Oh my god! Fire detected! Oh, shit! That's not what I meant. That's not what I wanted. I didn't want that. Oh, I didn't want that. Okay, where are we going? Where's the fire? Where's the fire? I hear a fire. Can I get down to the lower deck, please? Oh, 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 oh. oh god! Ah, sploosh! Oh, ganoushk! Oh, ganooski! Oh, ganooski! Okay, what else we got? Fucking cue the dubstep! <laughs> Fuck. Uh oh. What the hell is that? 
Alrighty then, well we- we got our first fire and we're- <laughs> we're not doing good. Okay, note to self, body slamming the local fauna is not a good idea and not a good preventative for damage. Oh my god, okay. Oh no! Oh, that's my laser, I don't need that. I need the... Where's my- where's my- where's my repair tool?! Did I- did I drop it?! What in the shit holes?! What in the shit, my dicks?! It had a- Yeah, I'm aware of that, thank you, but what happened to my goddamn doodle danger What happened to- What? What happened to my repair tool?! What is cave sulfur?! I don't know what cave sulfur is! I'm going to be very pissed. Thank... The Lord! I almost shat my britches there. Okay, alright then. Let me put my fire extinguisher back too, because Boy, I have a funny feeling I'm gonna need it again soon. Okay. <laughs> fuck. Alright, good. Hopefully that refills. Alright, let me go repair. Sorry about this. A little bit of a crisis always seems to get in my way when you body slam the opposition. Yeah, I'd like to think that body slams are the solution to all of life's problems. Got an angry neighbor? Just body slam him into submission. Dog misbehaving? Just body slam that bitch. Grandma acting up? Just body slam her. You never know. <laughs> uh, uh, I should shut up. Alright, I think that's most of it, if not all of it. Alright, so now we're back on track. Captain. Systems online. Oh, thank you. Oh, we got some damage up there. I'll get that when I get over to the place. Oh, no. It's about to be dark. Maybe I should actually use this bed that I built for such a person that I need to do that. Ooh, it's so pretty. I sometimes forget how beautiful that is over there. God, that's a gorgeous sunset. That's something to be commemorated by me screaming at the top of my lungs about how terrifying everything is. Nah, not now. <laughs> <laughs> Where is my goddamn knife? Hang on, I gotta get this. Hey, you wanna go, bruh? You wanna go? I've sliced up worse than you in my day. Are you dead now? Are you dead? Who's skittering out there? Grab these bad boys. Hey, oh, you're dead. All right, I got the marble melons. I got the Malones. I got them. I could have at any time come back and got these, but then I didn't because I'm dumb. So I'll be right back once I plant these bad boys inside my boat. Hopefully I can plant these bad boys inside my boat. I think I can. Therefore I will. Oh, Okay. And then put these bad boys, boink, and then boink, and then... Do I want that small? I want... I want big meaty marble melons. Yeah. Hell yeah! And I don't know why... I don't know why there's Chinese potatoes on here, but I'm gonna... Munch, and munch, and yes! Yes! I've got melons! Hell yeah, finally! Why is it taking me so long to do this? I'm just a big dumb goof, but I'm gonna need more, uh, more pots eventually for all of the malone, because the lantern fruit, that'll make a lot of stuff in a small area, but for the malone, I'm gonna need way more. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make individual small plants. Then I'm gonna have the marble melons all lining the walls in here because I am a bad ass. Boink, boink. Okay, so I'm gonna have marble melons over there, and that'll be better for me. Yeah, yeah. Reclaimed water. Fuck yeah. Time for a, a swig of victory piss. Hell yeah. Okay. So now that we got that out of the way, that was a minor objective on this whole endeavor. Now comes the real heart of the matter, getting this sonar upgrade, which is something that I'm very keen on getting. So what I gotta do is I gotta dive, dive, dive down into the deep depths of the ocean. Morning. Hopefully not too loudly, but I'm gonna go loudly anyway because I'm a badass and I don't care, I got my shield. And so long as I got my shield, I think I'll be okay. Which is a goddamn lie, I tell myself to go to sleep at night. But down there, deep in the depths, down here somewhere, is the deep shrooms. Not in this area, not necessarily in this area, but in the areas below this. Hi, Warpy Woo. Hey, how's it going, Warp Stash? Not in my areas over there, but down here in the Sea Treader's Path. 
I think is the closest place to be able to get deep shrooms. I could also go down into the Lost River, and there would be tons of them down there. And, uh, I, I, I probably could do that, but I'm... I don't, I don't want to do that. That's the key. I don't want to go there. So I'll be right back once I get to those deep shrooms. Here it is. Hi. Oh, you freakish bastards. Oh, you freaky weirdos. All right. Don't mind me. Hey, what's up? How's it doing? Okay. I'm just going to go into your tunnel here. Well, this seems to be the place. I mean, the choir is screaming. Oh, it's Markiplier. Not him again. Ah, uh, but, uh, alas, yes, it is me. Unfortunately, here to ruin everything. Oh, hi, Sea Treaders. God. I've never actually ridden the entirety of the Sea Treaders path, so I, I didn't actually know the scope of it. Like, it's legit huge. Like, jeez. Ah, oh, it's so crazy. All right, but I think in here, and I am now going in the cave. I am in the cave now, yes. That's what I'm looking for right down there. The deep shroom. So, I'm gonna go out and get them, but some something to warn you guys about these deep shrooms. Apparently harvesting them is tricky because they can damage you. I mean, they are a very, very potent acid. At least, that's what I've been told. So I'm gonna collect what I can in whatever way I can. Scoopty. Hmm. Huh. Ha! That's what it did. Oh! Owie! Ah, but that's how you get Deep Shroom Spore. That's interesting. So if you slice them, you get Deep Room Shroom Spore. Four. Ah, but it hurts like a son of a bitch because you just spill acid all over your body. So anyway, I'm gonna pick up a bunch of these things because I need to mix them with a very special element. GOLD! And when you mix them with gold, you create polyaniline. So I'm hoping... Oh, God, you are... You are weird creatures for being so docile. Oh, I don't like it. Okay, alright. Man, it feels like forever since the first time I saw those things and they were just weird, horrifying elephant creatures just treading the bottom of the ocean here. Real, real prime subject of something I never want to meet. Even though they're, they're like totally harmless, but... I mean, not totally harmless, nothing here is totally harmless, but there we go, hydrochloric acid. Oh, needed salt? Is that what it needed? Ugh. But I can make polyaniline now. Now, I believe I need two of these, if I'm not mistaken. I am gonna need two of these, so I need to make... I need to get another salt deposit, and then I need to slap another one of these bad boys together in the here. And then, once I have a second polyaniline, I forget what the other subject material that I needed, but I don't think it's too terribly complicated, because if I go up here to the other crafting bay, which, technically speaking, is just a simple thing, I need magnetite, and I believe, I believe I did gather up a bunch of magnetite in a previous episode. I think I did? That's aluminum oxide, uranite, Ooh, did I get magnetite? Did I? Ooh, I don't know. Ah, I don't even know what magnetite looks like anymore. There's kyanite. Uh, shooty tooties! Flutie booties! Ah, titty witties. Okay, can't believe that I.I. I. is still alive in there. We take this out of here because that's not supposed to be there. Very low chance, very low chance. Magnetite! I did! I have exactly three! I have exactly three! Okay, and then when you put the magnetite... Oh, shit, dude! Well... God damn it. I now have- let me save to make sure this doesn't crash or nothing. But I now have the lovely sonar upgrade. Blappity bloopity and there you goopty. So now if I go over here to the main area right here and I hit good old sonar. Oh, oh that's so nice! That is so nice! And this is like the perfect place for it! Cause I can actually see where the flip frickin' frackin' I'm going! 
Oh my god, and I know that probably takes a good bit of power, but you don't understand how helpful that is. Because I fly blind a lot of the time when I'm in this big-ass big box berry. I fly blind. Does this affect creatures? Does it? Oh, yeah. Boom! Nah. Unfortunately, it don't hit creatures, but that's fine. Oh, but that is so cool. Oh, you guys. I am... Oh, that's so cool! I can see! I can flip Nick and see now! And it doesn't take that much power. So I got that. I got the shield. I am freaking good to go! I am G to G! Oh man, this is so cool. Oh, ring the bell, bing bonger. It's like that SCP bell, bing bong, bring it on, you bunch of douchers! So now, the reason I wanted this is because it's going to make navigating deep down in the depths that much easier for me. And because of that, I'm able to navigate tighter spaces, see where I need to go, see caves when I need to see caves, which isn't always the case. Caves like to hide on me, they do. They definitely do. But now, the last step is to go down into the deep and get down to that lava zone. In between now and the next episode, I'm gonna do some farming, but I am fully prepared to go down there and build my base right at the heart of that castle and hopefully not die to the sea dragon. I've got a weird idea that uh, if I get enough of those thorn shooters, maybe I can use them at like defensive turrets against the uh, sea dragon, but I don't think it's going to be nearly enough for what I have in mind. So with that being said, thank you everybody so much for watching. Look forward to going down into the deep in the next episode. So thanks again. Let me know how I'm doing in the comments below. And if you comment well, I might just put you on a locker. So thanks again. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!